All right, so a little bit of a different build. I am building a kinetic sculpture made up of a multitude of these units. So this is a planetary gear system. It's a roughly one to five reduction. It's not quite there because I'm using a, what's it called? The prime numbered gears. So all the gears are co-prime. Just, I got standards. The machine is not really gonna do anything, but I wanted to show how to build a single unit. It's like fun. I have a couple more built today. Got a few more printing. One of the things we're using the print shift platform for Oh, right now, I'm making Lego track. Are you saying it? I didn't design that, just all thingiverse. It can go blah, blah, and blah. Thank you, Scott. Anyway, we want a machine that spins and is motor driven and will be motor driven for a very long time. Wait. So we're show trying to make it as durable as possible. Show them this thing. Oh, I got it, Scott. That's the print shift. It's going alright. So we're using, I think these are 25 millimeter bolts. M5. The fun of designing this is I just check the stuff I have in stock. Yeah, what screws I have left over from other projects, and I use those. Alright. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This project is not for anything, not for anyone. Just because I enjoy kinetic sculpture. Uh -huh. Inspired by Jansen's machine with concrete. Let's say he's using worm reductions. I'll throw a link. I'm sure I can find a video on it someplace. Where the motor is turning one gear, which is turning the next, which is turning the next, which is turning the next. And the final stage is embedded in concrete. But because there's so many gear reductions, It'll never actually turn. It's a lot of effort to build a useless machine, but I think you'll find it worthless. I designed these parts in OpenSCAD. This is actually from a script that someone else wrote. There are links up there. To build planetary gears. This is all my own design. But just sort of a relaxing kind of... What's it do? My daughter is helping out with the video because... Well, oh, reasons. You wanna say hi, Scarlet? So that fits on there. Hi. I like how I can just watch it after. And then we stick the, uh, so M5 regular nuts, and then four lock nuts. Locking nuts. Because we want this thing to run until it actually destroys itself. Yeah. Which shouldn't be while I'm alive. Ah. Get it down. Down. Don't annoy the cat. She's gonna break the she's gonna break the thing. Then she's gonna get up. <laughs> it's fine. And that is the assembly. I didn't actually show this part because I snapped it in too soon, but just pins that snap right in. And we take these over. <laughs> you can see the gear is already in place. By my math, 17 stages should be a good number. And there's a lot, and this, this right here is supposed to go in here, squeeze it, and it goes right in, and it goes like this. <laughs> so right now the machine, oh sweet coffee. Bah. Bah. And we have a, a half purple one, a half white one, and... Also, I have a half, a whole white Nettie. one. Yep. <laughs> I'll show it once more once she's done being built. It's 
Space Cat of the Infinite Spin. It is on a motion control. And we do have a speed control as well, so we can turn it off. It is too loud for its own good. We put this in a time lapse for about 2,000 years. Kitty will make one spin. <laughs> 